Hello you good people. Uh, today I'm going to check out the Love Bomb pedal. It's a preamp overdrive. It's made here in England. It is by standalone analog tube. You've just got six dials on the top here. Um, you've got high pass filter, bias drive, power sag, low pass filter and an output. So I'm going to just chuck this on the desk. I've got a telly here. Both pickups are currently on. It's going into a Tone King Sky King amp. Pretty clean. <coughs> going to crack on all the filters are off I've just got bias in the kind of middle position same with the drive let's chuck it on <laughs> That's adding a really nice bit of crunch to the amp. It's not really changing the sound particularly. If you've got a great amp, you just want a bit more grip. That's going to sound fantastic. Uh, let's put it on the back pickup, give it a couple of chords. <laughs> Perfect for a bit of country rock. Let's have a look at the drive now. So we're on currently on five. I'm going to put the drive on zero hit a chord and just crank it in. That's what I like about having it on the uh, desk right in front of me. You can kind of just get a feel for where you want it. I think that's the kind of gain that I love with this pedal. You're just getting that classic rock. I find that pretty hard to get with plugins uh, when I'm recording. I think they do really good high gain, really good low gain, but that whole middle area, this pedal is just nailing it. Uh, let's have a look at the filters quickly. So you've got one taking care of low end. So if I just add a little bit more gain, still bias on three, I'm just gonna play a quick riff and then I'll do it with the filter in. <laughs> Chuck it in, 75 hertz, it's just cutting the low end. Now I can feel that in the room, I can feel it's tightened up. That would sound great in a recording with a band mix, that would really work. You may not get the benefit straight off this phone. The other filter is taking care of high end. So Telecaster on the back pickup, if I turn the gain down a bit. <laughs> You can obviously hear that's pretty spiky. If I just notch the filter even two notches back. That's taken care of that pretty well. Now let's have a look at the bias control. If I go up to one, which is one off of the most aggressive, let's check out where we are then. Again, I'm gonna dip the drive and then just feed it in.
So you've got a ton of gain there. Again, remember, we're just using the Telecaster, single coil pickups on the back here currently. So zero is the most bias. If I crank the drive as well, it'd probably get a tiny bit of fuzzy here. <laughs> the power sag, if I chuck that all the way in, we should get a bit of fuzz and a bit of gating. Again, probably the more aggressive you are with the picking, the more it sort of cuts out. Uh, try on the net pickup, we'll dial back a bit. Let's go back to one of my favourite settings, number three, feed it again. It's a simple pedal to use, it sounds awesome, made in England. Let's take one more sneaky look at it. There we go, love bomb. Over and out.